So, Kavan, how is Chicago treating you so far? Uh, it's going pretty well. Uh, did a lot of interviews, uh, met a lot of the, uh, draft picks, uh, makes some new people. It's a lot of fun. What can you tell me about uh, what you've been working on in the pre-draft process so far? I've been like working a lot on conditioning and, and my shooting. Uh, I think it's got a lot better. Uh, improving every day. Uh, I'm waiting to show everybody that. What does a typical day look like for you? A uh, typical day, I usually wake up about 7.30. I uh, get to the gym about 8. Uh, work out from 8 to 10. And then I will go straight into weights from 10 to 12. I'll uh, do like some, uh, some, some rehab type stuff just for, for prevention. And then I will go back to the, from like 12 to 1, and I will go back uh, properly by 2 o'clock and shoot again. How is the strength and conditioning element, how is that different than what you had at UCLA? Uh, it's not much, much difference. Uh, I think I'm more on a stricter diet uh, now than I was at UCLA. I'll be a lot of time and a lot of time to just go eat what I wanted to. But now uh, i got a nutritionist that's more focused on you know, just me. And what about the individual workouts? Uh, the digital workouts are uh, really intense. Uh, Chris Farr, uh, who got me out, was really intense. Uh, he done worked out people like DeRozan and uh, Damian Lillard and really pushed me to another level. What are teams going to see from you in the pre-draft process that they, that they didn't, weren't able to at, at UCLA? I think some of my ball handling skills that I, I didn't get to show that much. And I think uh, my shot. Uh, I shot a little bit in the second half of the season, but uh, new, the NBA line is a little farther out, and I think I'm going to be uh, impressed with my range. Can you walk me through the, the season that you had? You know, how would you, you know, how how would you kind of describe how, how how it went from start to end? I would say it was a, a decent season with a lot of adversity. Uh, as a team, we uh, had a lot of ups and downs. And sometimes we could really quit on our, on ourselves. We lost five games in a row. We lost our first two conference games. Uh, we finally start winning some games. We get on track. We go to the Oregon's and we lose about twenty. Uh, but. Really, we believe, believed in ourselves. Uh, coach really believed in us, and we kept working hard, and we made it to the Sweet 16. So, I, I, we watched you play UAB in November. You absolutely dominated them. And then in March in the tournament, it wasn't exactly the same. Was there like a fatigue element at the end of the season, or was, was, did things just get tougher because it was the NCAA tournament? Uh, at the end of the season, uh, maybe a little fatigue, but. Uh, was, our team was completely different. Uh, my role was completely different. Tony Parker was a uh, was, was was a much stronger player, so I didn't have to do as much rebounding. Uh, he took some of that time up. Uh, we got people like Tom was playing better. Gigi Goleman was playing better, so I didn't have to uh, dominate as uh, as much as I did in the beginning of the season. Uh, I still had a pretty good game, and I was still uh, getting used to the mass. I broke my I had the facial fracture at the end of the season, and I was still getting used to getting hit. Uh, I still wasn't as confident in the mass as I should have been. We saw flashes of, of you as an outside shooter throughout the year. How would you rate yourself as an outside shooter at this point? Uh, I would probably say I right, six six out of ten. Uh, man, I'm not elite. I don't think I'm elite yet as a shooter, just because I didn't shoot enough threes and make to make enough threes. But uh, I know if at my position, I think I'm probably a, a really good shooter. I don't think anybody from my position out of college can really shoot as good as I did. How about athletically? How would you rate yourself? Out of 10, I'll probably give myself a, a 7 or 8. I'm not like the off-the-charts athlete, but I think I can hold my own against any athlete. I don't think athleticism gave me a problem that much this year. What do you see your role being at the NBA level? What can you do for a team right now? Right now, I know I can rebound. Uh, as long as I defend, I think I'll be able to come in and get some minutes, uh, get stronger and faster. And uh, once I get stronger uh, and get used to the game, I think I'll be able to make a, a big impact. But coming in, uh, trying to get minutes, I know I'm at the focus on rebounding and defense to, to get on the floor. What's the biggest thing that you're going to remember from your time with Coach Alford? What, what, what's going to stay with you three to five years from now? And just the, the whole the whole journey uh, of the season. It was one of the, the craziest seasons I've been a part of. I mean, yeah, lose five games in a row. We come back. We uh, we win a lot of games. Then we make the tournament, and uh, they said we're not supposed to be there. And then we went on a, a goal ten uh, three uh, the first game. So that's something I'll probably never forget. I don't think a lot of people will uh, forget that game. Uh, it's just to go and have the run that we had. Uh, something that they can't take away from us. The Sweet Sixteen. How important is it for you to get drafted really high? Uh, it's important to me because my dream growing up was always to walk across the stage and shake uh, Adam Silverhand or the commissioner, David Stern. 
So uh, just to be able to do that was, was, a, was a goal of mine. But otherwise, it really it really doesn't matter because uh, I think going to any team, uh, I just want the opportunity to play. So be able to go to a team and, and try to earn some minutes is, is, is a dream for me. But I, I would like to cross, walk across the stage. Do you see yourself as a guy that's going to play – the four pretty much exclusively in the NBA, or we're going to see you at other positions too. I think you will see me at uh, other positions. I think I'm very versatile. Like coming out of high school, I thought I was a small four, uh, but uh, I played power forward the whole year at UCLA. So I think um, I got pretty good at that position. So I think I could play both. Uh, coming in, uh, I probably play a lot of power forward coming in just because I haven't played small forward in a long time. I got used to chasing the wings again and being able to defend that position. But uh, as I get stronger and, and faster, I think I'll be able to uh, do both. If an NBA GM calls Coach Alford right now, what is what are some of the things he'll tell him about you? I, I think he'll tell him I'm a, a great kid, a great guy, uh, somebody that was really coachable, that really listens to what he said, and uh, somebody that's a hard worker and uh, that brings a lot of energy to the team. What about just like a random student on campus, someone that was in your class, for example? Uh, somebody in my class would say I was probably a, a nice guy. Uh, they would probably say I was kind of quiet because I usually don't talk to people I really didn't know. But they would say that I was approachable, that I, they could come talk to me or talk to me about the game or uh, take a picture or anything like that. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Thanks. Appreciate it.